Why didn't you climb, dude? Why didn't you climb, dude? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit! I don't think I can kill him. I I really don't think I can kill him. I really don't think that I can kill him. Dude, he's a fucking tang, bro. Yeah, well, uh, that happened. <laughs> oh. Wait, what? Wait. Huh? Oh, okay. Oh my god. Hello. Yeah, I don't really get a point of this, honestly. Like, I'm not gonna. There is no way how to get a goddamn fuel. So, like. Warbench! Let's see what interesting do we have. So I have this weapon, which I... <laughs> which I don't need. 
Wait, it's some kind of an upgraded weapon. Like it looks, it looks, it's still, it's still a revolver, but it looks different. Huh. How is it different though? I don't, I don't really understand how different are they. Like they're literally the same. Same revolver, just this one is better. I'm fucking confused. Wait, this weapon only has... Oh, okay. Okay, I got it now. This doesn't do shit! It says this night vision system combines two technologies, heat vision Heat vision, heat vision, invisible light amplification. Such so system were only available to special. F but how do how do I activate it? It doesn't it doesn't provide me shit. I don't. It doesn't have a fucking heat vision. It literally doesn't have that vision. It's so annoying. It's literally f it's so annoying. I can't even. So annoying. All right, whatever. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna get a few of these, and that's about it. We can we can honestly use our crossbow. That's literally not a huge you know issue. Uh, wait. Did I see a book? Did I see a book somewhere? Hello. I, c I could have interacted with something, but I can't find it now. Hello. Wait. So did we? The old church. I'm. I am at the old church. Church. The Losh is not here. Oh. Freeze, drifter. So we meet again. Though I bet you don't remember who dragged you out of the water. My name is Olga, by the way. Was it you fighting the master of the forest? Awesome. Our hunters had been staying away from him for years. Damn it. Sorry, teacher. The locks all rusted up. Your friend Alyosha is already at the dam. He oh. said your cardinal won't wait, so you don't have much time. Sorry, I can't take you there. At today's council session, the pirates moved to attack your train, but they had no right to even call one without me present. As usual, I need to go and sort this out. But I have a few minutes to give you some directions. You need a boat to get to the dam. And our pirates keep all the boats at their swamp camp. They are not the sharing kind. But that's no reason to attack. Nobody wants bloodshed. So just stay out of their sight. Take the road to the barricade. Go down to the swamp and find the dock. That's where Alyosha and I took the boat from. Did you forgive me? There are some left, but be careful. Well, Drifter, take care. And don't make me sorry I helped you people. Tell Alyosha I said hi. I'll stay a bit longer to tend to the grave of the teacher. What's the grave of the... Oh, so their teacher is dead, I assume. Okay. Decided to relax a bit before the trip. That's a good idea. <laughs> uh, no, that was a misclick, actually. <laughs> and I'm stuck in thought here. Once the master decided to haunt the vicinity, people all but stopped coming here, though they haven't forgotten. The teacher raised us all. 
taught us how to survive in the forest. If not for him, we'd all be long dead. So the girls used to come here every day, and the boys will make it from time to time. Even Ramanda's with You want a hit? So it was because hmm. of him that the teacher left back then. Most of us went on a trip down the river. There were just a few people left on duty in the camp. When we came back, we found it raided by bandits. It still pains me to remember the scene. Can't even describe it. Once we and the younger group were done crying, the teacher was digging the graves alone. The elder boys were nowhere to be seen. We helped the teacher with burying ours. It was dark already when the boys returned and sat around the campfire. Roman was so covered with blood. You could only see his eyes and teeth. Then they started talking. Tracking was easy. The bandits didn't even try covering their tracks. So the boys waited till they all got drunk in their camp and shot them with bows. Then Roman knifed the wounded like they were deer. The teacher just sat there listening. I can still see his chin tremble. And he didn't say anything. Anything at all. They understood what he meant anyway. Is that it? Come morning, he was gone. To this church. At first, he wouldn't speak to anyone. But us girls kept checking up on him. Just to bring him some berries, or ask for advice. And gradually, he started speaking to us. Still, he was like a different man. So distant. He never talked to the older boys anymore. Though he'd reply to their letters. And to the rest of us who'd keep visiting him, he would always say we had to become their conscience keeps them from becoming monsters. But how do you do that? And they didn't stop at that either. Started calling themselves pirates, made the floated lumber mill in the swamp their private HQ. Then they started hanging bandits from the posts, calling them musts. One day they took about 10 bandits alive and used them to test all the boys. Made them kill the bastards. None of ours could do it. And they all got called cowards for that. And then got ostracized. That's how the pioneers came to be. Hmm. Of course, they all calmed down by now. They're talking to each other, at least. But back then, only Luda and I could speak for the teacher at the council meetings. In the end, Luda and a few boys just couldn't take it anymore and left. I wonder if they found a better place to live. I still keep checking the radio hoping to hear from them. So they do have a radio. The teacher hoped too, but that hope didn't last long. They left in July. And in September, he shot himself. That seemed to get through to Roman. He got calmer. Some of the elder guys went over to the pioneers. After all, the important thing is that we stay together. So... So now I have an important voice at the council. Cause I can kick ass if they don't listen. And not just because they're not supposed to hurt girls. A fair fight is a fair fight. Thing is, the only one I lost to in a fair fight was Roman. And even then, I gave him a blue eye he had to wear for a week. <laughs> that earned his respect. The one I had the most trouble with was the Admiral. He was Roman's right-hand man. Wouldn't leave the lumber mill no matter what. 
kept saying we must defend it if we don't want the mutants to eat the whole valley. But the radiation levels kept climbing there. Roman checked it with the counter himself. So at one council meeting, Roman and our instructors had everyone vote against the admiral, and the pirates went on to build a new fort near the shore, where it's still okay to stay. The admiral would have none of that, so he and his most hardcore flunkies stayed at the mill. I never heard from them again. Radiation's not to be played with. The teacher didn't warn us all for nothing. So now, without the admiral, there is nobody who dare give me any trouble in the console. I'll put a leash on them tonight, all right. Don't you worry. I just need some time to gather my thoughts. I don't like politics, really. You could listen to the teacher's diary if you like. He kept recording it. As if he knew. Oh. Yes. I must have heard it hundred times already and still... We let him down. We really did. Wait, it doesn't... It doesn't let me... Oh, here we go. The radio's silent. My last hope for giving them a positive goal. Leading them out of this forest dead end was a complete fluke. Where did I go wrong? How could these great, talented, active, brave, honest, friendly children who would actively seek justice turn into monsters? Sure, I'm no Pestalozzi, but I did all I could. And even more, I gave them all my soul, my life. And uh, what did that result in? Uh, a society of shut-ins who only respect strength and are no less cruel than the bandits they fight. Yes, some of them kept their purity, shrugged off the bad influence and ended up leaving. I gave them all the fuel I had. But how few they were, most changed. Could it be that in this world that routinely changes even the harmless animals into nightmarish freaks? Mankind simply has no future. What is there to hope for? What's the point of even going through the motions anymore? Hmm. Well, at tonight's console session, I'm going to remind them all what the teacher thought in the end. Stop being pushy. I'll give them a piece of my mind. Alright, so now what do we need to do? Did the teacher save us all so that we could just attack people? We need to go there. Defending ourselves is how in the world? But attacking, they can't deny that, and we'll have to stand down. Those pirates. Oh, boys. Hmm. Wait, where do I do go? Dude, am I... Oh my god. Oh. Well. Let's carry on with our adventure, shall we? Oh, what is this? Oh, wait, am I supposed to go here? Or am I not supposed to go here? I think I'm supposed to go here. Alright. 
Proceed to the dam. Unless I probably did visit the church, but already left for the dam. I should catch up with him, so it'd better follow the old road again. The old road again, everybody. <laughs> Give me the. Really enjoying this game. The storyline is really interesting. The gameplay, well, the gameplay itself. I mean, it's kind of buggy sometimes and stuff like that. But in general, the game is pretty neat. What just happened? What? What did just happen? Why everything changed all of a sudden? What is happening, dude? <clears throat> Goddamn kid. What is this place? Oh, they're there, all right. And they're my enemies. So, uh... I can't really go that way, I assume, because I'm gonna be seen... ...easily. So I need to find a boat, don't I? I need to find a boat. Now, finding a boat is going to be a little bit problematic. You know, just a little bit. What could go wrong? Don't even bite. Yeah. That guy got away, but the problem is he was not alone. So what? We'll catch them all anyways. The first one maybe, the second one no. Is a tough catch. Lots of people try, no dice. 
That's one sneaky bastard, which means if we catch him... Yeah, we'll be saying our vows in the teacher's house tomorrow. So keep your eyes peeled. This is our chance to become instructor. I'm not really understanding the thing, why is that girl... Like, she, the girl belongs to these guys, right? But why is she friendly and these guys are not friendly? That That's that's literally what I'm not understanding. Huh? Who's that? Oh, we put the check. Huh? What's this? Ah, uh, nobody. Well, at least I checked. I need to continue fighting, this is not gonna work out. Screw off and just let me through. What is that guy? I don't understand this. 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 this how guns work in this game, dude. Oh my god, you're camping over there? Come on, dude. I think that was it. Yeah, I think that was it. Alright. No, that's not it. That's not it, unfortunately. Yeah, like, there's no way I can do this without a gunfight. I could probably do it, but do you even imagine how long that would take me? Honestly? Like, that would, that would take ages. Ages. And I ain't got time for that. You know what I'm saying?
Oh, wait, this, this can be the boat. Wait, what is the dude that I just shot? Wait, hello? Am I retarded? Uh, what is, uh, what is happening, hmm? Very nice. Oh, there's one more somewhere. Yeah, I think now it's over. Should be over now. Meow. Meow. Keep moving forward, shall we? Wrong way. Bada boom, bada beam, bada bam. Bada boom, bada beam, bada beam. I'm just looting. Oh, here's the boat. <laughs> yeah, there was no way I could do done this without a gunfight. It would probably would have taken me ages if I would have tried try that. It's like oh. fucking cat. Okay, what is this? What is uh, what is this? Uh, give me all the loot you got. A book. Hello again, Luda. Speaking of mad madmen, the admiral. Would his crew were staying put at the old lumber mill? Were you imagining that? He says that rather than sit here and wait for the mutants to come as whore... What? He says that... He's gonna... <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying. He's gonna shoot them in the water. They're all crazy, but I'm ready to risk everything to make the lives of Iris a bit safer. And I couldn't talk them out of it no matter what. And you thought I had abandoned people like these? I'm sorry, I just can't. Good luck to you guys again. Oh. Found it. Found it. Almost out of my goal, just the final s stretched left. Wait, so what happened to the train, though? Like, if we were in the lead, how how did the train got past? That's what I'm wondering, that's my biggest question. That's kind of confusing me, honestly. Imagine living in a place like this. That would suck. No video games, no internet. I would probably fucking kill myself. If I would... <laughs> if I would need to live like that. Oh look at that, we got a little lamb! It's so cute! I mean, it's a pretty chill place, honestly. If you think about it. Mm. 
Well, fuck that shit. I have to find a way out of the swamp and onto the road that leads to the dam. We should check the abandoned lumber mill first. So... I guess that's the lumber mill. these people are dead here though. Oh, maybe because of the uh, radiation. That could be the case. Definitely. That doesn't look safe, does it? Oh shit, what's up? Are you a friend? You're dead, aren't you? Well, thanks for answering. Do I go here or. Oh god. <sighs> Fucking radiation. Oh god. Well, this place doesn't look promising. Oh, come on, dude. Why, why you gotta be so derived? Okay, it doesn't work. The Umber Mill's power supply is offline. We will need to find the generator and turn it... Turn it all? Wait, why do I... Why do we need to turn it on? Is something bad about to happen? Because it feels like it. You're such a dick. I can hear something. I can feel that shit is about to go down, dude. Oh yeah, I need to... Yeah, 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 yeah I forgot. Wait, so how do we turn it on? Excite!
Oh, hello. Wait, I was I was here before. I was here. Wait, so how do I turn on the generator? Like how how do I how do I start uh, running the power? These doors perhaps? No, they're locked. Well, now I'm actually confused. <laughs> something is this the way oh shit that's uh, that's a huge saw yeah honestly I don't know what to do and where to go uh... Yeah, dude, I don't, I don't know what to do. I, I don't know what do you want from me, honestly. And I can't really. Let's see where the cables go. 